I've been gone for a week or so now. And, uh, and, uh, I, I'm really sorry about that. Um, I have reasons, but I'm going to explain those reasons to you in this video. And, uh, what this video is going to be, or, yeah, what it's going to be. is I'm going to do, like, a, uh, like a camera, um, not touching as much as, like, a up-close hand movement type video. Um, and I'm going to, while I'm doing that, I'm going to explain um, where I've been and what I'm doing. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> so, um, now to me, been gone for about a week, and, um, <laughs> well, what happened was, my girlfriend, unfortunately, decided, uh, we should, you know, see other people, <laughs> so, we broke up, and, uh, the reason being, um, long distance, and anyway, so that's what's been affecting me so much in um, this past few weeks here. Um, not really few weeks, but days. And, uh, and the, it's been tough. It's been really tough. And, uh, but I think I'm pretty much over it at this point. But, um, uh, I'm, and I'm not really pretty much over it, but I'm uh, more over it than I was at first. And I think I'm going to be able to keep making videos, but it's really hard to say. For right now, I think it might be okay. But yeah, so we're done, and uh, we left on good terms, which is nice, but it almost makes it more like no one to blame <laughs> you know if we left on bad terms I could at least blame myself for being you know angry about it and you know yelling and throwing stuff but I didn't or if she um, was a dick about it I could be you know like oh well she wasn't worth it and blah 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 but I don't know we were both like way too cool about it <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna stay friends or whatever but who knows how that's gonna work That's just my excuse for why I haven't been making videos. You know, whether or not there's an excuse. <laughs> um, so, I get a haircut. See? Look, my hair's way shorter. And uh, I trim my beard. Also, interesting. I'm sure you don't care, but it's true. It happened. Um, I got con. And they've been getting refitted. I have uh, really severe astigmatism in my left eye and uh, normally severe astigmatism in my right eye. So they're um, difficult to fit contact, apparently. And it's taken a few goes, but I got some that fit pretty okay right now. And, um, you know, that's where we're at. I'm really bad at taking them off at night. I've been falling asleep with them in, like, every night. I can't stop doing it. I just get so tired when I'm watching ASMR videos. And, uh, I just can't get up and go take them off. Because my bathroom is downstairs. And, you know, this is an easy fix. I don't watch ASMR videos with contact. And, but I, I'm, I'm a glutton. I can't do it. Um, <laughs> so... I wake up, 
basically what happens is it's not uncomfortable or anything. Just you wake up basically completely blind. Like um, the the lenses become white almost apparently, according to my vision. <laughs> I'm basically looking through like a white. Just <coughs> everything's white, like milky, foggy, really thick, foggy milk of white. And um, so I have to like feel my way downstairs and into the bathroom. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it works out, so it's fine. But, you know, then I can't wear them until later in the day after they've soaked for a while. But it is what it is. But okay, so I'm on my iPad right now, so my camera's over here, I guess. See, I'm looking at it right now. And then I'm looking at my face right now, even though it looks like I'm looking way off to the side. And then I would be looking at the other end of my iPad right now. Isn't that weird? It makes it look like the iPad's so much longer than it is. Face. Camera. <laughs> okay. And the reason I'm doing this is to test out the microphone and the iPad. Because I've been using my phone. And the iPad from the test video I did. It seems like it has... Like a... Maybe like a built-in white noise reduction or something because the white noise is way less or else or at least I think it is but it's hard to say I guess I really think it is less though I'll uh, accept feedback on that point <laughs> and um okay so um the camera itself is <laughs> this little tiny silver speck So the problem with my contacts is they are um, too big, like, um, they sag on down, like, on my, um, you probably can't see, but if you were to look in my eye, they would uh, be set lower on, uh, you know, the, the color, like, not the whites, but the rest of my eye, you can see like a, it's like a, a light blue, and it's set, it's like on, okay, so it would be on my eye centered, it's down like this, just kind of sagging down, and with that sag, I feel like, I can feel them like, um, if you're looking at my eye, this part of my, oh, that tickles, <laughs> um, well, tickled a lot, um, so my, uh, right here on my eye, you almost have like a little ridge of your eyelid. That little ridge touches the bottom of the contact, like at all times, so I can always feel it basically on my eye. And that's what's uncomfortable about it. And I guess people without astigmatism don't get that because it's um, completely fit perfectly on the iris. And um, so yeah, frustrating. I blame my father for, you know, his astigmatism and him purposefully passing it down to me, but you know, what are you going to do? So, I, I have not really had any correction in my life, and uh, I basically feel like a superhero now with these contacts, which is funny because um, the like contacts are <laughs> um they are I they only give me 2040 vision which still isn't that great but I I don't know I feel like everything is so clear now <laughs> I was dealing with 2080 before um, without them and I was driving around like that and stuff which is uh, probably illegal <laughs> and uh I don't know. Good vision, no. Anyway, um, so this is just an update. I'm trying to get something up online. Like I said, I'm, I'm dealing with a breakup here, and, uh, it's tough. It's annoyingly tough. I, and I'm sure other people can relate to this. It just doesn't it suck how vulnerable we are to emotions that are so silly. Like, it's just, uh, 
Like I'm young, I'm only 23. She was 19. We break up after a year and a half. And it affects me this badly. It sucks. I just, <laughs> I wish you could just like push the emotions out. I don't have to touch feel or deal with it. But you can't. It's too bad. Basically, I've just been <laughs> letting my room in the uh, living room go to hell. And I've just been watching um, home movies and Futurama and Scrubs over and over again while I, uh, you know, wallow in my own pity. <laughs> and it's, uh, you know, depressing or whatever. But I don't know. It's, it's getting better. And it, uh, it never really was that bad. Like, I mean, I feel like breakups can be much worse than how I dealt with it. So that's good. I think it helps that uh, we still talk, I guess. Or maybe it doesn't, maybe it's worse. It's hard to say. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway. Uh, so I'm going to post this video. Then, out of the requests, I want to do something easy. I just want to, like, slowly work my way back into this and maybe do the penmanship video was requested that sounds easy and there was one more that sounded really easy what was it I don't really remember I guess yeah I noticed no one's watching my uh, Seinfeld video what's up with that <laughs> I love Seinfeld I've been going to town on Seinfeld the last couple of days it's so funny but it could be a different generation I guess or I don't know, maybe I did a horrible job on that video, I guess. It's hard to say. But uh, if you never watched Seinfeld, you think it's like an old show and out of your um, age group, you're, to be honest, you're probably mistaken. Like, it's really good. Really, really good. Um, I'm sorry my hair looks ridiculous. I haven't uh, really showered recently, and I've been playing Frisbee all day today and sweating a lot. But <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I like home movies, Futurama. Scrubs, Arrested Development, um, what else? Archer, uh, Bob's Burgers, um, C Lab 2020, or uh, 2021, I guess. Um, Aqua Teen Hunger Force is good. I really watched all of it, though. Um, hmm. Kind of drawing a blank here, but there's all kinds of stuff. Um, Anyway, if you kind of like the types of shows I just listed off, um, you should give Seinfeld a chance, because, I mean, why would I like those shows and Seinfeld if they were so different? <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, it's just kind of dry, dry humor. I like dry humor. Um, but yeah. I don't know why I'm advocating for Seinfeld suddenly. I guess I lost my train of thought here. Well, uh, let me know what you think about anything, I guess. And uh, any comments or opinions will go toward where I go in the future with this channel. And hopefully I kind of start getting this back under control. <laughs> I really hate that I... Basically, halfway through this channel's lifespan, I decided all at once I was going to start rapid-fire posting videos. And then, bam, broken up with. And it just shut everything down and it's horrible and I hate it and I'm gonna I wanna undo it but I'm afraid that I'm not totally over the breakup I guess I know I'm not but I'm afraid that I won't be able to get these videos back underway I might still be overly depressed basically what happens is throughout the day I'll be thinking man I should make a video and I'll just never be able to get around to doing it. I just, it's hard to make myself do anything anymore. Do the dishes, clean up my room, um, you know, turn the Xbox on or off, things like that, <laughs> stuff. And uh, so I, I've become a bit, of, a bit of a layabout. And anyway, I want to say that I'm going to do videos, but I don't want to promise anything. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope
hope it has given you some much needed closure, I guess, as to where I've been or not. You probably don't care, but I mean, maybe someone does. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, uh, I'm gonna get back into it. I promise. Or I don't promise. But I think, I, I promise that I think I might maybe possibly get back into it. Potentially. You know, notwithstanding. We'll see. Anyway.